Hi everyone, how you doing? Darren Scholes here, head coach at Barnum Broom Golf Club. Now, I want to talk about rough flies today, and it's the time of year where we've had a lot of warmth, a lot of rain, and the rough on a weekly basis is growing two, three times faster than it would do normally. So it's a real challenge at the moment for the greenkeeper team to get out here and cut this grass. You just, unless you've got really a lot of manpower and a lot of machines, it's very hard to keep on top of it. So it's just a, part, a period of the year where you've really got to work through this and assess the lie. What I find a lot of amateurs are trying to hit too much club, too long a club out of the rough. You have to take your medicine, guys. I'm just going to show you. I've hit my drive down eight here at Barnum Broom on the valley course. And I'm down the right-hand side. I'm still 190 yards out from the pin. I'll show you the view that I've got. There I am. I'm on the right side of the fairway. I've got an overhanging tree. And I'm in the semi-rough. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my lie. What's, what's waiting for me here? Now, look at this, guys. Now, that ball is sat down. I've been a little bit unlucky. So it's sat down on the grass. So now, normally from this distance on this hole, if I was on the fairway, so I'm just gonna just come about four, five, six yards to the side. I'm just gonna show you the difference. Look at that. An absolutely beautiful light. From this position, I'm just gonna take the club that I would normally choose. 190 out into a breeze. That for me, for me today would be a four iron, okay? But, same distance, and I've shown you the lie. A four iron is just simply not gonna cut through this grass, guys. I'm gonna show you the distance it takes a four iron, but there is absolutely no way I can get a four iron cutting through that. So because of the nature of this lie, as I just said, there's no way I can get my four iron through there because a four iron for that distance has a wide arc and I'm gonna get stuck. I'm gonna get stuck in the grass. It's gonna take all the power and I'm gonna get too much grass between the ball in the rough, the rough. I'm gonna get too much grass between the ball and the face. It's gonna hit it like a cushion and it's just gonna kill it. There's no loft, not enough loft and the ball's just gonna go dead in front of me. I can't get it out of there. Okay, then that's because of the nature of the length of the club. Some people out of these rough lies here, they're trying, to, they're trying to hit the same club they would do off the fairway. It's not gonna happen, guys. And it's not the rough's fault. You need to hit the ball on the short stuff, make your life difficult, obviously. But sometimes you have gotta take your medicine. What am I gonna do? Well, there's a bunker up there about 190, 120. So I'm gonna hit this with a wedge, okay? I'm gonna hit the wedge, guys and I'm just gonna put it in position. And because I've got the wedge, I can come down steeper, steeper into the back of the ball through the grass. There's gonna be less grass between my ball and the club face, and I'm gonna get it in play. So I'm just gonna hack it down the left side. So here we go, left of the bunker. I'm just gonna hack it out. I'm gonna get the wrist hinging earlier. That means I'm gonna go even steeper than normal, and I'm gonna try and hack this ball out of here. Here we go, be strong. Beautiful. So that ball's out of there. I've taken my medicine. I've gone for a club, which works in this lie. I'm not gonna reach, I accept that, but, but the lie was the problem. I can't reach from that lie. So now I'm going pitching wedge down the left side. I've got plenty of loft, a steep angle of attack, and just get it out of there. Okay, guys? So take your medicine. Don't try and get the distance that you would normally hit from the fairway. Assess the lie. The grass at this time of year is very, very strong and a lot of resistance there. Take your medicine, get steeper into the golf ball and get that ball in play and take your medicine from there and you can still make a par. From there, knock it on the green, knock it in. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Keep it going. Have a great season, Darren Scholes, signing off.